Is their life in the purple or are the Vikings done? One of Brett Favre's good hands men sheds light. What's next for the Vikings? Bob Sansevier's in to give us thoughts. And the Wolves' Kevin Love is on a tear. We're one-on-one -on -one with him. And in the Mayak spotlight tonight, it's St. Olaf's. It's a big day. It's game day. It's all ahead. It's game on. The team definitely has something left in the tank. Uh, obviously, it's a must-win game for the division. But uh, playing at home, I think the, the players are going to be psyched up by the crowd. And that's going to be a really big factor. And this is Game On, fed by Alcapulco Restaurants. Great to have you with us. It's Sunday, it's game day, it's the Vikings and the Packers. And boy, do the Vikings need a big win today. And Greg Camarillo of the Vikings, the good hands man, the wide receiver and kick returner, will be with us in just moments here. But first, let's set this big day up by the numbers. And if the Vikings ever needed a win, it was this Sunday. Three and six on the season, Green Bay six and three. Three games the Vikings are back of the Packers. In the earlier meeting at Lambeau Field, 28-24 was the final. Look at that Shanko touchdown, could have been a lot different. Bottom line is, the Vikings lost. Aaron Rodgers was spectacular. 295 yards, two touchdowns. Vikings will try to turn the tables today. Again, glad you're with us on Game On, fed by Acapulco Restaurants. You know this man, kick return specialist, one of Brett Favre's favorite targets, number 85, Greg Camarillo. Great to have you with us. Good to be here. Gigantic game against the Packers, and all of us have kind of had a week to heal. We're over the Bears' loss. Are you guys? we got to be. We don't have any choice. In this business, one game comes, it goes, and another one's right on the tail of it. So uh, it was a tough loss, hard to swallow, but we're ready to play the Packers. A lot of people don't understand that even with the, the losses, the six losses, three and six on the season, there's still a glimmer of hope in that locker room. Explain how that works. We just have to win football games, um, and the rest will take care of itself. We obviously know that we've put our dug a huge hole. We've put ourselves in a bad situation, but you know, winning games can solve it, and uh, it all starts with this week. So you know, we'll put all our energy on beating the Packers. Pat Williams told us last week after the Arizona win, it was gigantic for the football team. You beat the if you compartmentalize, if you will, and beat Green Bay. It's one step closer, and it makes it a little bit easier, doesn't it? Of course, and especially with a division opponent and a good team like Green Bay, you know, yeah. you can that can start a rally. Do you guys think about when you were at Lambeau just a few weeks ago? You lost 28-24. It was a game. Now that we look back and we say the Shenko catch should have been good, should have won, should have, could have, woulda. Do you draw any uh, inspiration from that? Not really. I um, mean, you, you always say shoulda, coulda, woulda. You right. could easily flip that and say, you know, we coulda lost or we coulda won by this. Right. But, uh, I mean, that game came down to literally inches, you know, with Percy Harvin's toes being that far out of bounds, and that, that's the game. So we know that it's going to be a tough match. Neither team's going to just roll over. Um, and we're fighting for our season, so we're going to come out and play hard. And all of us, I bet including the players themselves, keep waiting for this team just to explode because – there are moments in a football game, and you, you know what I'm talking about, when two plays and you scored a touchdown on the offensive side of the ball, it can happen. We're just waiting for it to happen. Exactly, and it, there's, there's no more time to wait. You know, it's, it's now or never. But I mean, the team has so much talent that if we could just put a game together where special teams, offense, and defense play their best, we could be unstoppable. But we haven't shown that yet. We just got to get to it. What's Brett Favre like playing with? Because obviously he's going to be a Hall of Fame quarterback, one of the best you probably ever played for. He's made a lot of mistakes this season, but the fact of the matter is when he's on, he's still extremely good. Exactly. I mean, he's one of the best ever to play the game. And, um, just to be part of that, you know, it's something special. But he, he's a great communicator, and I think that's what makes it easy for receivers to play for him. He tells you exactly what he wants, and you just have to go out there and do it, and he'll put the ball in the money. Vikings Packers today at the Dome. High noon on Fox, and there's some fighting words already. Jermichael Finley has been spouting off. He's an injured Packer, a very, very good football player, but he said, the Vikings are done. Stick a fork in them. I'll be on the sidelines cheering on my teammates. Fighting words. You know, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a fight. But, uh, you know, I, I hope they believe that. I hope they believe that we've given up on our season because we're going to come out and fight. And if they're not ready for it, then, you know, we'll just take it right to them. 
More with Greg Camarillo in the next segment. Don't forget, you can join us for our Game On taping. We have a special one coming up. It's Thanksgiving week starting tomorrow. So we're going to be at the Woodbury Acapulco Monday night. Don't forget, so tomorrow night at the Woodbury Acapulco. We'd love to have you with us. We're going to be giving away Wolves tickets. There's going to be food, fun, autographs. And with us will be Kenny Onatulu. So we would love to have you with us at the Woodbury Acapulco. More with Greg coming up. Can the offense light up? Bob Sansevier with his inside opinions. Kevin Love one-on-one. -on -one. This is Game On, fed by Acapulco Restaurants. Everything that goes into a Linux system is engineered for absolute comfort. Like the parts that create your perfect temperature and humidity. Or the parts that purify the air. Together, all these parts save you up to half of your heating and cooling bills. And there are few things more comforting than that. The future of home comfort is here now at Liberty Comfort Systems. Get the latest in innovation and technology at Liberty Comfort Systems. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. River City Saloon is the place for food, music, fun, and bikers. Bikers get the best parking spot, and inside from business people to bikers, everyone's gonna have a great time. Create your own bucket list at the River City Saloon. There are specials every night of the week and live music all weekend. Get us online at hollysrivercitysaloon.com and look for the awning just off Maine and Anoka, right in the heart of the historic Anoka Entertainment District. See you soon at the River City Saloon. She's sleeping. Hey, Papa. What? Sophie? What'd you get Mom? For what? For Christmas. Oh, yeah. She wants jewelry from Thurber Jewelers. She wants diamonds. Well, I was kind of thinking. Diamonds! Okay, okay. Shh. Go back to sleep. This year, give her a gift that everyone knows she will love at Thurber Jewelers in Elk River. Acapulco Restaurant is Minnesota's choice for authentic Mexican food. At Acapulco, our chefs prepare your meal from an original family recipe crafted by the Leon parents in native Jalisco. You'll find your dining experience not only delicious, but memorable. Join our Acapulco online VIP club and we'll give you exclusive savings and specials. It's delicious Mexican food and more. From our family to yours, join us at one of our seven metro locations, serving lunch, dinner, kids to carry out, and catering to Acapulco restaurants. We deliver real Mexican food. Welcome back, it's Game On, fed by Acapulco Restaurants. It's game day, Vikings, Packers, big stuff at the Dome. Greg Camarillo, number 85, the kick return specialist, wide receiver, one of the good hands guys of Brett Favre. This game is, is big to fans because it's the Packers, but for you guys, it's more than a rivalry game. You're back home, which is key to getting this thing turned around, isn't it? It is. We have a great advantage in the Dome. I mean, the atmosphere is electric. The fans are great. Um, so we just got to give them something to cheer about, and it should be a good advantage for us. We talked about Jermichael Finley in the last segment, how some of the other teams look at you and maybe have written this team off. Does that play to your advantage as well, that teams have, have looked at you and think you're roadkill? Of course. Um, you know, they always say the most dangerous dog is a dog that's backed into a corner. And, we're backed into a corner. We're all the way in the corner, and the only way out is to come out fighting. So, you know, if they think that we're just going to lay down, then that's definitely to our advantage because we're going to come out fighting. And you've heard that whether you play in high school or college or professional football, you're not supposed to create the bulletin board material. So if Finley's thinking it, there's probably a few other Packers that think the same thing. Uh, there's probably people all throughout this country thinking the same thing, but, you know, as, as a team, it only matters what we're thinking. You know, it only matters what our confidence level is, and, uh, you know, we're still fighting. You know, we still got a season to fight for, and we're going to come out and play hard. Has it been a good week of practice? Have you Do you, do you feel that there's more in the tank than perhaps the record indicates? Of course, and you got you got to credit all the veterans on this team. You know, a, a younger team might duck their head and, and give up but um, you know credit the veterans for showing us what hard work is really about and allowing us to keep playing with uh, with hopes for a good season talked to Pat Williams last week after the Arizona game he said the one thing that was very very clear to him is that there it's not too late that there's plenty of opportunity left even with as many losses as the Vikings have at six not a lot of room for error but does that help you guys in your preparation for a team like the Packers? Yeah, there's there's no room for error. At this point, we've dug ourselves a huge hole, but uh, there's still time to, to get out of it. Um, and it all starts with a win at home versus the Packers. That's exactly the kind of win you need to get things rolling. Greg, there been two, you've had a lot of coaches in your time. 
Has there been too much heat on Brad Childress? You know, that, that we're in a business of winning. You know, we're paid to win games. We're not just paid to play the games. We're paid to win games, and it's the same with the coaches. And, you know, anytime we're not winning, fans are going to get upset. You know, the media is going to try to figure out what the problem is. So, you know, everybody will take shots. And, uh, you know, right now the focus on is on Coach Childress. But, um, you know, all we have to do is win some games, and that will go away. The other thing that's interesting to me is I haven't seen a lot of player, player finger pointing at each other despite way too many mistakes this season. Aren't you surprised by that? Yeah, I mean, the good thing is we're sticking together as a team. You know, right. There's been so many ups and downs that a team could easily have just divided and everybody try to play for themselves. But, um, you know, credit the team spirit, you know, the team chemistry of sticking together and trying to fight this one out. Greg will be back with us at the end of the show to give us his final thoughts on this football game. We'll get to enjoy a little Mexican food right now. But before we get there, don't forget, you can see the show. You can be a part of this show. Go to GameOnTVMN.com. All the headlines are outstanding bloggers on all the sports and the teams, as well as our partners, PurplePride.org, one of the big fan sites. It's dynamic. It's great stuff. It's GameOnTVMN.com. So, you want to see some Wolves games this year. And you want to make sure to see him. And him. But you don't really want to see them. Now, who's going with? Flying solo? Nah, it's more fun with the whole pack. And where should we sit? Can we move like that? Sure, with the Flex Pack, and we save. Build your pack, your tickets, your seats, your games. Online at Timberwolves.com slash flex. Walling Berg and Deebly believes in families. We understand and support families in all their many forms. And when legal problems arise in the family, Walling Berg and Deebly is there. Walling Berg and Deebly, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. When you need us, call 612 326 3453 or visit wbdlaw.com. Chester I'm very optimistic that the Vikings can beat the Packers because on any given day, any team can win. And boy, we have the bullets in the gun to take care of the Green Bay Packers because we've got Brett Favre, we've got Jared Allen, we got Greg Camarillo, we've got all the, all the we got Adrian Peterson, come on. You know, one of the best running backs in the NFL is on the Vikings team. I'm, I'm very optimistic. So. On Sunday, look out, Green Bay Packers, you're going down. Welcome back. It's Game On, fed by Acapulco Restaurants. Great to have you with us, Packers and Vikings, in just a few minutes right here on Fox 9. Delighted to have with us KQRS personality, Pioneer Press columnist, and Fox Sports Net personality as well. Bob Sanzevier is in the house. And Bob, thank you for being here. And we, we look at this big game, it, all we, despite records, it's always a big game. How is this playing out now, considering the tables have kind of turned on the Vikings? Well, I mean, I think the way it plays out is the Vikings, as they've talked about, they don't have any margin for error. Right. I mean, they really do have to win their final seven games to know that they can get to the playoffs. Ten and six, I don't think as much doubt would get them in. Nine and seven, a little dicey. Yeah. They could get in, but there's much more of a feeling of assurance that they can get to ten and six. If they get, uh, the tough thing is, if they win five of the last seven, which is a heck of a way to finish the season, that's eight and eight. Yep. That's very unlikely to do it. So I think their mindset has to be to, to win out. And it's, I mean, it's happened before. Jacksonville, in, uh, back in the 90s, was 3-6. and six. They had a bye week, and then they wound up making the postseason with a 9-7 and seven record. It's not unprecedented to do, right. but I do think that 9-7 and seven doesn't assure them of, of uh, getting in. 10-6, and six, I'd have a tough time believing 10-6 and six wouldn't do it. Right. So I, I do think they have to think. The way they're thinking is the way they have to think. Win them all. And in that Viking locker room this week, Daubers were a little down, but you knew just sensing from these players what they thought they could do. And they do think 
to a player that they can run the table. Well, you know, what's interesting about that, Rod, is there's a lot of teams that think they could run the table and don't have the talent. Correct. But this team has the talent. They have Absolutely. a lot of talent on this Without team. And it's, uh, I don't think anyone would be, would be surprised if they did win seven games. Right. But th you keep thinking, after the Arizona game, you think, well, they're going to go to Chicago. They've been able to, to uh, get, you know, they started getting to the quarterback in the Arizona game. Chicago had been leading the league and giving yeah. up sacks. You thought they would be dominant there. It just didn't happen. They just cannot get on that run where they, they have two, three, four, well, they're going to need seven good games in a row. Right. They just haven't been able to do that of get two good games in a row. And when you look at this Vikings team, if they could just stop killing themselves on these turnovers and these mistakes, they'd be in pretty good shape. Well, and that, that obviously is the killer, and Brett Favre is leading the league now in interceptions. We don't know, and I don't know that he knows, is it his shoulder that's giving him trouble? Right. That's a tough, I mean, some of those interceptions weren't weren't his fault, and Correct. the turf was made, creating issues for a number of players. Right. So, I mean, that there are a lot of things that went into it. But, again, the talent is there. Uh, so the hard question for you is, in our minds, we see this team with all the possibilities still. There is a glimmer of hope. But in reality, it doesn't look like it. Well, they have to produce, and that's right. what they haven't been able to do. Exactly. I mean, it's, again, on paper, before the season, this was a Super Bowl contender. Without but the reality is, right now, it's not. Yep. So things have to turn around for them. And it's not, again, no cushion. It has to happen immediately. It has to turn around with the Packer game and get and for them to get something going. They miss the playoffs as Childress safe. Uh, I think it remains to be seen about how they finish the rest of the season. Yeah. I mean, I, I think if, I don't think anything's going to happen before the end of the season. If it was going to happen, you would think it would have happened before the Arizona game where you you would install Leslie Frazier, give him nine games with, with a few games that looked like they could be winnable. But now I, I think it, it wouldn't make sense to me not to let him finish the season and give him a chance to get this thing going. Bob Sansevier, thank you for being with us. Time to grab some great Acapulco food for you. Thank you. My pleasure. Awesome. Time now for Who's Hot and Who's Cold, brought to us by Liberty Comfort Systems. And E.J. Henderson is hot this week, back from that serious leg injury last season. He's teaming up with teammates and businesses to tackle hunger this holiday season. It's Tuesday, just a couple of days away. All the information's on our website at GameOnTVMN.com. Help others enjoy the holidays by giving out turkey and all the fixins. EJ, great work, thank you for doing that. And sharing hot with EJ this week, Michael Beasley, passed over by the revamped Miami Heat. Be Easy has found a home in Minnesota. Passionate play, a tremendous game. Beasley's gonna be one of the reasons that the Wolves will turn their season around. A few big wins will take care of that. Hot, hot this week. Brought to you by Liberty Comfort Systems. And speaking of Beasley, for the past couple of seasons, the Timberwolves have been taking it on a chin, but there is a different feeling at Target Center this season. Thanks in part to a charismatic, community caring, passionate basketball player named Kevin Love. Love has shown up and had one heck of a game just a week ago against the New York Knicks. 30 rebounds, 30 points. I sat down with him to talk about that and a lot more. Look at this man. Somebody get on this guy. Kevin Love with a 30-30 game here tonight. 31 points, 31 rebounds. The 30-30. Still special a week later? Yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely still special. Uh, that's going to be a game that sticks with, it, with me you know, throughout my, my whole career. And even after basketball is done, you know, I'll be able to you know, say I had a 30-30 game and tell my kids about it and tell certain people about it. But you know, that game's kind of in the past now, so um, you know, we can't really you know, stick in that time. We've got to move forward and you know, start accumulating wins. Rebound, Wes Johnson. Shuffles it inside. Love the dunk with two hands. You guys are really starting to show people in the first month what this team can do. Yeah, I think we definitely are, and um, you know we're really coming together. Obviously, we would like to have everybody healthy, and we think that's going to help tremendously having a deeper team and you know guys that bring more to the table. But we also feel like uh, you know we're a little upset about us not having won two or three games that I mentioned to you that you know we probably could have won and should have won. Another turnover. Oh. Wes Johnson rises up and comes down hard. What a difference a year makes, though, because last year it was miserable compared to the, the hope and the optimism that you guys feel now. Oh, absolutely, and we're playing great basketball. We yeah. just uh, need to stop digging ourselves a hole, and you know, the biggest thing for us is us being young. You know, we're committing a lot of turnovers. We're making you know, mistakes in the game against Charlotte. I think down the stretch, we really showed our youth, and there was times where we played a little bit too fast, and 
uh, we didn't talk out our defensive schemes well enough as a group. And lastly, the co-drive. It's important because you're taking care of people who don't have a lot and need to be warm. Absolutely. I think, you know, like I said, it was a, an original idea for me, the Kevin Love co-drive. We have a lot of sponsors and everybody helping out with it. And, um, you know, as everybody knows that's from here, Minnesota is very cold. And, you know, for the less fortunate to, to give back in, you know, really any way, uh, you know, during those times is, uh, you know, can be good for the whole community. And we're, we're happy to do that. Flips it over to Kevin Love. A race to the rim and he throws it down. Great stuff from Kevin Love. Expect big things this season. Keep up with the Wolves and the NBA each Thursday on my weekly blog. It's Simon Says at Timberwolves.com. The site's great. It has a variety of inside information on the Wolves at your fingertips. It's interactive, so you can toss thoughts back to me. Just email me at rod at gameontvmn.com. And then every Thursday, check it out. Simon Says at Timberwolves.com. And when you need to move around the Metro, call on City View White Knight Limousine, town cars, limos, SUVs. City View is safe, reliable. They'll handle all your needs. Get them at the web. CityViewLimo.com. What's your 99? Introducing Wendy's new 99 cent everyday value menu. My, my, my 99. My, my, my 99. How about a beefy double stack? or maybe a crispy chicken sandwich. Now there are seven tasty choices for 99 cents. 99! Why 99? How much? 99! Real choices, real value, every day. Honey, check the baby monitor. She's sleeping. Hey, Papa. What? Sophie? What'd you get Mom? For what? For Christmas. Oh, yeah. She wants jewelry from Thurber Jewelers. She wants diamonds. Well, I was kind of thinking. Diamonds! Okay, okay. Shh. Go back to sleep. This year, give her a gift that everyone knows she will love at Thurber Jewelers in Elk River. Acapulco Restaurant is Minnesota's choice for authentic Mexican food. At Acapulco, our chefs prepare your meal from an original family recipe crafted by the Leon parents in native Jalisco. You'll find your dining experience not only delicious, but memorable. Join our Acapulco Online VIP Club and we'll give you exclusive savings and specials. It's delicious Mexican food and more. From our family to yours, join us at one of our seven metro locations. Serving lunch, dinner, kids to carry out, and catering to Acapulco Restaurants. We deliver real Mexican food. Walling, Berg, and Deeply believes in families. We understand and support families in all their many forms. And when legal problems arise in the family, Walling, Berg, and Deeply is there. Walling, Berg, and Deeply, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. When you need us, call 612-326-3453 or visit wbdlaw.com. Welcome back. It is the Mayak Minute here on Game On, fed by Acapulco Restaurants. Delighted to have you with us. And when we talk to Mayak, not the big scholarships and stuff, these student athletes work their tails off, and we're delighted to have a true success story. This is Deanne Schmidt. She's a junior from St. Olaf's. That's Jeremy Driver, the head coach of the women's program there. And thank you for being with us. And when we talk about St. Olaf's soccer, great season, a historic season. Tell us about it. Well, uh, this year we ended up going 13-5, and five, and uh, we set the school record for most wins in a season, which was fantastic, and uh, we were ranked for two weeks uh, in the top 25 in the country for the first time and ended up in the top seven in the North region, so it was a great season for us and our program. And you were very excited about those rankings. You could barely keep your feet on the ground. Well, it's, it's, it's tremendous for our program from where we've come, uh, just winning three games uh, four years ago. And uh, we're just really excited about our athletes and uh, where we've come. When we talk about Deanne, she is a special athlete in that you're a junior. Last year played a different position, was all conference. Coach moved her to a different position, all conference again. <laughs> What's been the key to your success? Um, I'm always just really dedicated and work hard all the time in practice and games and <laughs> fortunately have other successful teammates around me that help out a lot too. This is a young team, they're only graduating four, right? so the, the cupboard isn't bare next season. 
No, we have, uh, I think, Deanne and the rest of her classmates and teammates have very high expectations for the next year already, and uh, we're excited about it. It should be fantastic. Best part of the season? Best part of the, this season? Yeah. Um, one of the highlights was definitely going down to Washington University in St. Louis, who at the time was ranked second in the country and was national runner-up last year and beating them on their home field in overtime with five seconds to go. Doesn't get much better than that. Your Facebook page was burning up that day. <laughs> uh, it was, as was my phone. So it was a great day to be an Oli. That's great. Well, congratulations, continued success. St. Olaf Soccer, our spotlight this week on the Mayak Minute. Thanks for being with us, you guys. Thank you. Time now for what's ahead. On the wheels of Thunder Week ahead, the Vikings are at FedEx Field in Washington. The Wolves host the San Antonio Spurs on the 24th. The Wild with two big games at the X. The Flyers on the 24th, Nashville on the 26th. The Gophers get Iowa on the 27th, hoping for a repeat of what they did in Illinois. And the Twins, get this, snow got you down? 85 days until spring training arrives. The Twins in their hot stove winter, 85 days away from spring training. And before we get out to the Dome, some final thoughts. 85 back with us. Greg Camarillo, you guys going to win today, or what's the deal? I'm not in the business of predicting wins, but I guarantee that we're going to come out and fight hard. That's, what, that's all we can ask. And, and I guess more than anything, with all the purple and the green shirts, peacefully coexisting at least for a little while in the dome today you guys really got to get a win have to get a win it's, it's now or never and uh, what better day to do it than today far 300 yards two touchdowns maybe to you let's, let's go with 400 let me see. He, he just did it let's do it again you gonna break one of those punt returns yeah, that's the goal man i got some great guys blocking for me so i just got to make it happen and hopefully find the end zone greg camarillo don't forget you can always catch the show afterwards Game on TV, MN.com. And before we leave, shots from Kevin Love's spectacular performance just a week ago against the New York Knicks 30 30 club. He is a proud member of. Have a great Thanksgiving. Look forward to seeing you. Go Vikes. It's Game On fed by Acapulco Restaurant. <laughs>